Welcome to The Source, where we combine the headlines with in-depth conversations with the newsmakers themselves. Today on the program... Media personality Erwin Tufo apologizes to a former Army Chief and now DSWD Secretary. Muli po sa mga naapektuhan at nasaktan sa aking masasakit na pananalita laban po sa kalihim na way mapatawad po ninyo ako bilang isang tao. Following the recall of security escorts of the Tufo family. Yes, it has something to do with the with these comments to, of course, to the, the uh, secretary of DSWD. Also, Peter Advincula, alias Bicoy, the man claiming to be behind the ang totoong narco list videos, is now under police custody. We did start verifying yung sinasabi niya, but we, of course, without his sworn, sworn statement, na sinasabi niya pati yung mga pangalan na pinagsasabi niya, pati yung mga lugar na pinagsasabi niya, that has to be covered with the sworn statement. As the probe on the so-called Aus Duterte plot begins, Philippine National Police Chief Oscar Albayalde joins us live. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pinky Webb. After lambasting Social Welfare Secretary Rolando Bautista on air for refusing to answer his call for an interview, media personality and commentator Erwin Tufo says sorry. On Monday, Tufo issued an apology to Bautista, the military, the police, and all those he may have hurt. The security escorts assigned to the Tufo family were also pulled out, and the Philippine National Police says this could have been triggered by the broadcaster's remarks against Bautista. Also, also rather, Peter Advincula, alias Bicoy, is back in police custody, but does he still have credibility? Let's go straight to the source of the story. We have PNP Chief Oscar Albayal, the General. Good to have you again. Thank you for giving us your thank time, you, thank sir. Thank you for having me again. So thank many you. things to talk about. Uh, topic number one is, uh, of course, media personality Erwin Tufo versus uh, Secretary Bautista. The man has apologized, Erwin Tufo apologized, not just to Secretary Bautista, but also to the military, sir, to the police, and to all that he may have hurt along the way. What is your reaction? Yes, sir? Uh, first of all, we want to thank uh, Mr. Erwin Tufo for... Uh, uh, for ab apologizing publicly and that is very noble of him and uh, his apology I'm sure is uh, very much accepted really yes by the police and even probably the military and uh, of course knowing uh, General Bautista uh, I think he uh, he will accept that yeah it's good that you can talk to us about uh, Secretary Bautista because um, it is quite hard uh, to get to him Siya ho ba yung taong madaling magpatawad pagkatapos ng mga pagmumura o panlalait sa yes, kanya? Yes, basically, uh, General Bautista, I knew him since the time when we were cadets kasi company mate ko yan. Yes, so we were together for three years in the PMA, uh, eight, class 85 sila, class 86, but we stay in one company, that's Charlie Company. Okay. Yes, uh, and uh, kung anong makita mo siya ngayon, ganun siya talaga. No? He's a very private person, uh, man of few words, mm -hmm. pero napakabait. Mm. So it would be very easy for him to accept the apology. Yes, I think of, so. Uh, yes, Irwin. knowing him, yes. Kayo huba, sir. Honestly, isa huba kayo doon sa na upset o nagalit doon sa nangyari. Uh, well, uh, I, w I would say yes, probably. No, uh, it's because you know this person is uh, he served for 37 years in the Philippine Army. No, At, uh, hindi naman biro biro yung service niya. He's with the uh, Scout Ranger. He's with the Special Forces. He served in Marawi. You could just imagine. No, he's a war veteran, and yet uh, parang uh, ganun lang ang sasabi natin sa isang tao na ganito. So you were upset as well because the last one to show his support was. Um, well, incoming Senator Ronald Bato de la Rosa, ang sabi nga niya ho, parang uh, dinefend niya si Secretary de Bautista. They were at a wedding together, and I'm going to show that Facebook post of uh, General Bato as soon as it's ready. Kayo ho ba? Meron ho ba kayong Facebook? Did you feel, uh, you know, uh, that you needed to do something to defend Secretary Bautista yourself, sir? Well, the, the, I think yung pag uh, pull out pa lang nung ano, that's, that's why I'm ready, no? That's why I, I, I said yesterday that's... Mm -hmm. uh, let, uh, 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 to be honest about it, of course, that's one factor. Yeah. So let's not go around the bush yeah. anymore. No, that's one factor. So that's. And I'm happy you said that, sir. Yeah. 
Well, I have to be honest, sabi ko nga, no? Uh, kailangan natin sabihin na lang ang tunay. That triggered, of course, but that's, that, that's not the main reason, mm -mm. of course. Pero, yun na nag-trigger. Kung hindi yes. po nangyari yun, posibleng naiwan pa sa kanila yung mga security detail, but, pero dahil nangyari ito, yun ang nag-push. Well, probably, na yes, but uh, of course, yung pull-out kasi is a regular basis. Mm -mm. Yung pull-out is a regular basis. That's true. No, uh, it's not only on the Tulfo, Tulfo brothers, but on everybody. Even former generals, no? mm -mm. we 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 pull pull them out, we evaluate, and then if kung kailangan, we bring them back. So I was I was saying a while ago, sir, um, si General Bato de la Rosa nga po showed his uh, support through Facebook. Uh, ang sinabi nga niya dito kung sino man ang gusto ng mambastos at manakit sa napakabait at napaka maginoong upper classman ko na ito dumaan muna kayo sa akin para matikman ninyo ang brotherhood <laughs> ng PMAers what do you say to that well uh, i think so and uh, as i've said no uh, i even uh, I, i probably know general bautista better than uh, general Ganun ho ba? yes because uh, he, uh, during the time when we were cadets uh, company mate ko nga siya we live in, in one barracks uh -huh. no for three years, hanggang mag-graduate sila, sila ang upper class namin. He's, because he's one year uh, senior than us. Did you reach out to him noong nangyari po ito? Uh, no, basically uh, no. Not even uh, nag-text or ano. Ganun siya. He's a very silent and very private person. Okay. Now let's go uh, back to what you were saying a while ago dun sa security details, sir. Sino ho ba talaga nag-utas nito? Kayo ho ba? Na no, actually, yun, pull out. Mm -hmm. the, the pull out actually happened when I was uh, not around. I was out of the country. I was in Israel for uh, an official trip. Yeah. So I just have to support yung uh, decision ng ating uh, director of uh, PSPG. Yeah, but under whose orders? Uh, well, uh, it was actually the OIC then. The, uh, uh, the OIC, I think, is uh, General uh, Archie Gamboa mm -hmm. when I was out. On whose orders? <laughs> uh, I don't think, I don't know. Kung, hey, uh, ba kayo? It's an, it's, no. Anyway, you're yes. saying you're honest about this. Would yes. you, what, was there some sort of a directive or instruction from you? Well, I think it's, a, it's, it's probably a decision of the organization, mm -hmm. not uh, from anybody else. But you're heading the organization, yes. sir? Yes. So, was so it? I just supported it. Kung yung nag decide sila the organization, nag, uh, they informed me, I supported it, ah. the uh, decision. But it the, didn't emanate from you. Is that what you're saying? Yes. The decision yes. to pull out yes, and review. Yes, because I was out of the country. Yes. Yeah, but you could have been out of the country, sir but you could have still ordered this ni huba yes yes but, but uh, i was i was only informed after after and you threw was, your full support um, yes. to this sir um and dami pong tanong dito uh, number one, uh, siguro ang tanong din is why lahat po sila lahat ng tulfo brothers pati po si ramon tulfo who's special envoy for public diplomacy to china sir well as i've said no uh, isa yan uh, let's be frank about it this triggered the uh, the uh, pag pull out and uh, of course Kung merong isa, the whole family. Like, like if you're the father and you have your uh, your children who have uh, uh, security escorts also, pag yung father natanggal or one of the children, siempre of course the everybody will all the security of the family will be evaluated. That's what uh, happens. Mm, Nagdamay damay yes. na. Yeah. Did I, and, but and, of course, ang sabi ko nga, uh, kung sila mag-apply ulit, mm -hmm. if they apply again, it will be all in the same process. No? Yeah. They will undergo the same process again. So, and they we're not saying that they will be denied of, uh, of uh, security kung talagang they deserve to be uh, secured by uh, PNP personnel. Who pays for the security, sir, of... Um the, the security details. Nobody. It, it's the, 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 uh, the PNP that are serving as uh, security escorts. They're being paid by the government. May salary yung police, remember. But uh, sometimes, probably, they give allowance. I really don't know. Do you know how much? Because on social media, questions are also coming out on magkano huba ang nagagastos para maging security detail. Well, basically, it's their duty. Kasi may kanya-kanyang duty kami, di ba? Di yung, uh, yun. that, that's their specific duty. So if you're uh, assigned as a security escort, then you're being paid by the government. Yung salary mo, it's the same salary that uh, those uh, policemen doing uh, patrol duties. Na ano lang kayo, na transfer lang yes, kayo to an yes, individual. Yes. Parang Yun lang is job description mo, kumbaga. Yeah, yes. uh, doon ka nalipat, yes. eh, no? What about yung sinasabi, sir, na kung, kung nalipat sila doon, syempre they can get allowances. But there was something you said uh, yesterday, sir, that one one of the reasons, or the other day, was that uh, because of the rant of Erwin Tufa. And another one was saying, you were saying about the behavior of dun sa mga ini escort and yes. in other words there has yes. to be a responsibility yes. dun sa taong ini escort yes. that's tan. correct uh, the good behavior good moral character no yung uh, and, and and also it's just like giving license firearm license pag may misdemeanor there will be an uh, reevaluation on uh, on your part on on that person
Why was the re-evaluation, why did it just happen recently, sir? L let me put this into context. When um, uh, maybe someone like Erwin Tufo, who has told us yesterday that ito tone down na daw nila yung kanilang Tufo brand of yes. ano, a co 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 uh, commenting on radio, uh, bakit ho ngayon lang? Uh, uh, will you be... Uh, Will you be able to admit that nangyari kasi ito dahil kay Secretary Bautista? Well, uh, hindi siguro. Uh, there are also instances, no? There are also instances where where we pull out uh, we, where we pull out security uh, escorts, not only security escorts but also uh, gun licenses. Mm -mm. Yes. No, but why because now? Because of misdemeanor, yung uh, bad behavior. Wala yes. hubang misdemeanor or bad behavior in the past is what I'm asking. Sir. I think there were. There were. But yes. Yes, and, they, and also yung na pull out not only their security but also their gun license were revoked. Yes. For the Tulfo brothers? No, not for the Tulfo brothers, but to other person. I see. Yes. Let's talk about the Tulfo brothers. Yung tinatawag na misbehavior and misdemeanor, ngayon lang ho ba nangyari yun? Yes, on them, I think so. I think so. Oh. As far as I can remember. <laughs> as far as I Or can would remember. you say, sir, that uh, possibly who bang walang hu nagsumbong? I, ito hu or kasi... probably there were no complaints before. No, uh, it's uh, you know their brand of uh, uh, newscasting is mm -mm. very different. Oh, <laughs> alam yeah. niyo, di ba? Pero there were no complaints on on them probably. So walang uh, hanggang walang lumaki yes. ng lumaki to yes. because of Secretary yes. uh, yes. Bautista. So the qu uh, what I want to find out, sir, now is pag meron hu bang police escort. This is not for the tool for anybody for that matter. Na yung amo po ay nagkaroon ng misbehavior. Pwede ho ba kaming magsumbong sa PNP? Yes, of course. Yes, of and course. And you will you act on that. Yes, yes, of course. Anybody. Anybody for that matter. Now that they have apologized, sir. In fact, uh, um, Ramon Tufo was here yesterday prior to the apology of Irwin. Nag-apologize din yes. po si uh, Ramon Tufo. Yes. Um, yung dalawang Marines niya at uh, ni-recall din daw po, because of this, maibabalik ho ba ang kanilang mga security details? Well, that depends, on the, uh, that depends on the armed forces of the Philippines because the Marines are not uh, under the uh, P uh, Philippine National Police. But there were eight uh, dun sa ibang Tufo brothers, sir. Yes. Uh, as I've said, uh, hindi naman uh, probably forever yan. They can always reapply. But they have to undergo the, the same process again though, mm -hmm. from uh, the beginning. Yung uh, security threat, it has to be validated, kung talagang may threat dun sa kanilang buhay. At uh, of course, yung uh, sabi nga natin, yung good moral character, mm -hmm. isa yun. They have to, uh, are you saying that they have to prove that they will practice good moral and right conduct in Huba? Uh, well, ang ano dun is, uh, of course, not to practice because uh, if you give uh, the uh, security detail, uh, it has to be proven na uh, itong mga tao na to are really... Uh, their not, lives. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, their lives are being threatened. Uh -huh. Kailangan, syempre, yun muna yung number one. Yes. That's why they will be provided yes. security. Uh, before we go on a break, kasi ang sinabi niyo po, kailangan po ito i-review. Yung, yes. si, yung, yung mga police escorts mm -hmm. na yes. uh, tinanggal uh, po sa kanila. That's actually what we're doing to everyone. Okay. You know? But of course, uh, they are very popular, kaya na single out, <laughs> yes. and because of what happened to Secretary yes. Bautista. How long does the review last, sir? Well, uh, according to the director of uh, PSBG, it's probably uh, two weeks. Two weeks. Yes. All right. We'll be taking a short break. This is The Source on CNN Philippines. Please stay tuned. You're watching The Source on CNN Philippines. Our guest today, PNP Chief Oscar Albayalde. Sir, you were talking about the... Uh, let, let's be more candid about this. You were talking about the PNP Chief kayo at yung mga maanghang na nasabi ni Urban Tufo. You, you can repeat that on air, sir. Anyway, <laughs> it was on Facebook also, sir. Yes, as I've said, no, uh, uh, I'm a PM mayor, mm -hmm. uh, one of the PM. Of course, I, I was hurt that dahil nadrag yung uh, the whole uh, PMA graduates doon sa sina, sinabi nila. No? And of course, I'm, I'm the PNP Chief. And what would they think about me if mm. I will not do something about it? Yeah. No, if I can do something about it, and yet I did not do anything. Yeah. No, uh, ano naman masabi din naman sa akin. So I have to do also my responsibility not only as a uh, P, uh, as a chief of the PNP, but also as a PM mayor. Presidential spokesperson Sal Panelo was saying, "Nag apologize na yung mama." In fact, yun yung I think those were the words he said, referring to Irwin. I'm not sure if we have that um, uh, that that. This, that uh, he, it was a press conference yesterday of the secretary, uh, rather the, so, the spokesperson of the president. Let's listen. Mr. Tulfo has his reasons for so doing, and he has already apologized for that. I think we should bury that. Sir, we should move forward. 
So I throw that question uh, to the PNP. Should you, the PNP, the PMAers, move forward? Yes, let's move forward. I think, uh, uh, as I've heard yesterday when uh, Erwin Tulpo uh, made the public apology, it's very much acceptable. It's very noble of him and very gentleman. Okay, and then actually it was uh, our interview, sir, with uh, Erwin. Sabi po, tinanong ko pa nga siya, siya kailangan ba mula ngayon mag-tone down na uh, yung iyong brand of... Uh, uh, siguro pananalita. Sabi niya, yes. Sabi niya, it's, it's time to change it. Sabi niya, baka daw hindi na in tune with the times. Sabi oh, well, niya. probably in the tone down. That's it. Let's just be balanced and be responsible. No? Just like you. As mm. I've said uh, yesterday, if you're a newscaster, if you're a broadcaster, no, whatever you say can ruin a, a person's reputation. Mm -hmm. Not only that person, but also his family. That's right. And um, what are the malaki ho ba yung chance na mabalik yung kanilang security detail? There is, yes. There's a chance, yes. There's Big a chance, chance yes. that that will be um, maibabalik po sa kanila. You're talking about responsibility and how us, sir, or anybody for that matter who's on television can ruin a person's yes. reputation. Let me move um, now to Peter Advincula, alias Bicoy, sir. You know, when uh, nilabas ni ho siya sa krame, Immediately after that, I think we had uh, a Senator-elect Bato de la Rosa. And you were criticized, sir, uh, for allowing him to have a press briefing at Krami. I asked incoming Senator-elect uh, Bato de la Rosa, I said, is that right ginawa ni General Oscar Albayalde? In fact, he said, oh, oh, I would have done the same mm -hmm. thing. Looking back, sir, hindi ho ba kayo nagamit, naging tama ho ba itong inyong naging pasya o desisyon na pagsalitain si Peter Advincula? Well, as I've said, Pinky, depende kung sino nagsasalita. Depende kung sino nagsasabi niyan. Mm. No? Uh, and as I've said, uh, uh, this is no different from somebody who is detained in, in, the, uh, in, in a detention cell. And uh, the, here comes press people asking questions on that person. No? Mm. Anong pinag-iba nun? And we've been doing this for for uh, uh, several years already, no? even before the time of uh, Chip Bato. Mm. No? And uh, ang uh, sinabi niya is he wants to make a public apology. And then uh, sinabi niya na he, he's uh, willing to answer questions. So, anong, anong mag, ano natin, no? Ang pagkakaiba ho siguro, mm. sir, andun kayo lahat sa likod niya. When there are people, uh, uh, siguro pagtingnan po kasi yan, na nandu kayo sa likod niya, it's as if you're supporting the claim of Peter Advincula. Clarify that, oh, sir. But what's so different dun sa mga hinarap din namin, ng mga suspects and all, that they're also lambasting the Philippine National Police in right in front of us. Mm. Di ba? Wala naman. Wala naman pinag-iba yun eh. Uh, I don't think that there's a difference dun, dun sa mga ginawa na before, dun sa pa, pati dito kay uh, uh, Peter Adel. It's because probably yung sinasabi niya is something to do with politics. Uh -huh. Di ba? Yun siguro ang ano din. And some people were, were hurt or probably were involved in what uh, he's actually uh, saying. No? Uh, as, I, as we have said, we just gave him the, the, the opportunity mm -mm. to make a public uh, apology. And, and then sabi niya, he, wants, he, he is willing to answer uh, uh, questions. Looking back, though, would it have been more prudent for you to have had Peter Advincula sign an affidavit prior to presenting him in the PNP headquarters to the media, sir? Well, kung um, nag-sign siya ng affidavit, then we could have uh, just uh, filed the case. Tapos na yun, uh -huh. And uh, here, here he is. He's not being pressured naman. No? Wala namang pressure sa kanya. In fact, after he posted bail, he was, uh, he was freed. Mm -hmm. He posted, siya. He he posted, posted bail. bail yes. na... He was under arrest. Na-hospital na po siya. Yes. Ba? And then, umalis siya. Yes. And ang sabi niyo nga po, he didn't ask for any. For any. But uh, of course, last, I think last Sunday or last week, he went back to the CIDG and, and uh, together with his lawyer. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that, sir. Um, is there already an affidavit? Ano ho ba ang sinasabi ngayon ni Peter Advincula, alias Bicoy, sir? Well, uh, yung affidavit niya, I think it's not yet finished. No? Uh, ginagawa wala, pa rin. Uh, yes, ginagawa pa rin yung ano niya. But uh, he submitted his uh, cell phone and his desktop already for forensics. Mm -mm. Did you see? You, you saw those, sir? No, no. Maybe no. pinakita siya sa inyo? No. Uh, Even, no, 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 the no. cell phone was well, actually yeah. during, during uh, when he was making Sakrami, his statement. Sir. Yes, oh. the cell phone was there. So are you, you're just awaiting for the, uh, the statement, the affidavit, the signed affidavit yes. of Peter. So he will stay with the CIDG for now? Yes. And I think he's under custody of the CIDG and uh, it, upon his request. And there, uh, because there's a threat to his life, sir? That's one. And mm -hmm. uh, he voluntarily went to the CIDG. Nobody forced him. And together, together with his uh, lawyer, of course.
So we will just see kung ano po ang sasabihin ni uh, Peter Advincola. Yes, uh, I, I think you'll uh, probably, kung ano nang sabi niya, is, it will be probably uh, basically kung the ano same. Kung ano sinabi niya sa media, nung humarap po siya sa media, will probably be the same. Will probably be the same yes. thing, except yes. this one is written yes. and attested yes. to. Yes. We'll be taking another short break. This is The Source on CNN Philippines. Please stay tuned. You're watching The Source on CNN Philippines. Our guest today, PNP Chief General Oscar Albayaldez, sir. Again, you mentioned a while ago, kakabalik niyo lang po from uh, a trip. Yes. Uh, it's a counter-terrorism trip. trip. And yes. where did you go? In uh, Israel. Tell us more about that, sir. Well, uh, remember yung Israel kasi na they're very good in uh, counter-terrorism. No? Before, when I was a junior officer, we have uh, cross-training with uh, the Israeli police also. Uh, it, but it's limited to special action force, and we want to expand this to the different regions. So, but they were really uh, very willing to uh, to share their talents and skills to the Philippine National Police. So, you're hoping that there will be some sort of counterterrorism training? Yes. Remember, they're very good at it. Mm -hmm. no? Very good, kasi yung Israel jan, because you know they're always under threat. No. At uh, yung kanilang uh, urban counter-terrorism uh, uh, warfare is also very good. When will this happen, sir? Nagkaroon na ba ng agreement of some sort? Actually, this is also already happening, with the, as I've said, with the Special Action Force. No? But we want to expand this. Yeah, to the regional? Yes, to the regional uh, level. And mangyayari ho ba ito? Yes, I think they're very much willing, yes. Oh, and um, ROTC, sir, um, ano ho ba? <laughs> <laughs> At dalawa pa, meron pa yung anti-task force on anti-bullying because it was the start of school. Cool, Let's start uh, with ROTC, sir. Well, ROTC, we fully support that. No? Mm -hmm. uh, in other countries, remember, lahat yan, no? the, lahat yan, meron, meron namang ROTC. In some other countries, like in like Israel, the mandatory two years. They have to enlist in the army for yeah. two years. Huh? And also in Taiwan, which is a very, very small country. What more dito sa Pilipinas? And we're saying that we have threats already, mm -hmm. no? like uh, sa ibang uh, bansa. So, and of course, ang pinaka-importante doon is we want to develop the sense of, uh, you know, the sense of patriotism and nationalism mm -hmm. among the youth. Mm -hmm. no? Ito yung uh, uh, comment nga ng ibang bansa sa atin, eh. we lack the, the, the love of country, we lack nationalism, we lack patriotism, we are so divided. No? Uh, and I, I don't see anything wrong with this uh, ROTC. Yung kung kami nga, four years kami sa PMA, <laughs> ano pa yung two years lang. No? Yeah. And it's not even every day. Yeah. I guess, uh, kasi questions also arise, sir, on the possible abuses. Na, dalawa lang naman yun, eh, yung abuses, tsaka yung exemption. Yung... Well, that has to be, you know, isa pa yan, yung the discipline. Not only on the, uh, the students, but also on the instructors. Mm -mm. No, Napaka-importante kasi yan. That's true. There are abuses. And also, not only abuses, but also uh, corruption, alleged corruption. Merong ganito, merong ano. Before, you, you, you pay... You, you, pay, you pay a certain amount para hindi ka na pumasok mm. and then may attendance ka na. So you see, the, these are things that we have to correct. Pero dapat lang ayusin. Yes. Hindi naman ibig sabihin na porkit may balik ganon, ay eh, huwag yes. na natin gawin. Yes. Yeah. Balik lang. We have to improve on it actually. We have to improve on the process. We have to improve on the, how, we, yeah. how we train our youth also. General Oscar Albayalde will be retiring in November, sir. Uh, your mandatory age of retiring. Yes. Uh, what, what, what will happen to you next? Are you going to be like a uh, General Bato de la Rosa, <laughs> no, sir? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. You never yes. thought, you're, you're yeah. not, you don't even think about politics, sir? Uh, no, uh, no. Why not? Yeah. I, I don't know. Wala, wala sa isip ko yun. Talaga, yeah, sir? Just, yeah, I just want to enjoy probably uh, uh, time with my family for a while kung talagang bibigyan ako ng uh, another post by the president. Yes. Mm. But, of course, if the president assigns you to another post, yes. you were well... Yes, you of will course. accept that. Yes, of Pero course. ang politics, it doesn't um, attract you so much, no. sir. Talaga, mm. ha? <laughs> so, hindi, wala kang plano maging Senator Lacson, <laughs> Senator Ronasan, <laughs> no. Senator Bato uh, no. de la Rosa, sir. I think uh, they're doing good na sa uh, kanila. No, uh, uh, sa ngayon, wala. Wala, wala. Okay, so November, you're looking forward to what? Spending time with your yes, family, so sir? Yes, probably a long vacation. And then, kung <laughs> talagang bibigyan ako ng presidente, of course... Uh, sino ba ako para tumanggi? Yes. General, what would you what would you say was your biggest achievement as chief of the PNP? You, what are you most proud of? 
Mahirap po kasi uh, parang tinataas mo yung sarili mo ng ano. ano. Pero <laughs> well, what are you I, most proud of? Well, well, I really can't say no because uh, there there are comments here and everywhere. You know, alam mo na, you cannot uh, please everybody, no. There, there are but uh, what I can say is probably yung uh, malaking pagbabago in the yung unang-una is the discipline. It's you know, uh, bata pa ako or even nung junior officers, uh, junior officer day pa ako, junior officer pa ako. Talagang ito nang nakita ko na problema eh, no? And and and, and it went uh, big, so big na parang yun na naglumabas na, no? Uh, at least during my time I can say na uh, nag-improve siguro yung level of discipline in the Philippine National Police. With regards to the accomplishments on operations, you know, this is part of our mandate, eh, no? Hindi ko naman pwedeng ipagyabang yon, thank you. That is uh, which because this is the focus and the uh, flagship project of the uh, government. So we have to re really support it, no? But uh, yung on our own, what we did is the internal cleansing siguro, napakaimportante, no? We want to professionalize on how we professionalize the PNP. No, uh, gusto kong maiwan nito although it will not happen during my time definitely because of the the, the large uh, scale of the problem yeah. no malaki to eh. it, it, it will go and no 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 uh, kailangan dito ng taon talaga no yung transformation taon no uh, yeah <laughs> that's why our transformation is 2030 no decades ang uh, ang hinihintay hmm. dito you cannot just tra transform overnight so it's really very important na matuloy-tuloy sana ito there will come a time na makita yung mga PNP as a professional police personnel sana ng ating mga ng ating mga tao. And na, we we na we want Yes, na we respect. Pag yes, that's the yeah. that's the magic word. Right. No, that's the magic word na mga respetado ng ating mga kababayan ng ating mga kapulisan. That will make you very very proud. Yes. And of course the Filipino proud. Kung lahat naman ho tayo siguro kung gano'n ng ating uh, pagtingin. Yes. Sa the pe not just to the police, but people in authority. Hindi yes, not ba? only that. Probably in the manner of uh, yung the conduct of operation, para yeah. mawala na yung pagdududa yeah. sa ating mga kapulisan. No? Uh, <laughs> yung uh, everything we do is uh, is uh, within the limits of the law. Ito, within with the, the Constitution. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Alright. Uh, I hope, sir, maimbitahan ka namin muli bago ang iyong uh, retirement in November. I look forward to that. <laughs> We'd like thank to thank you, PNP thank you. Chief General Oscar Albayalde. Sir, maraming maraming salamat thank po you, sa inyo. Thank you for joining us here on The Source. I'm Pinky Webb. You're watching CNN Philippines.